Kyrie has his eyes set on the new champion. And there's another look. Yeah, you can see why Poirier. Oh, yeah, yeah, you oh, got yeah, it there. 100%, right there. 100%, right there. Yeah, that, that, that angle, you can definitely see it. Okay. Right in the that mouth. is 100% fish hooking. Michael Chandler is officially the dirtiest fighter in the UFC. I don't even know if he has any competition in the UFC. Maybe Conor McGregor. Some people are saying Conor McGregor is very dirty too. Yes, but Michael is a very risky, like he takes a lot of risk when he's fighting. But I don't see him as someone that actually knows what he's doing in the octagon. Like he doesn't have a solid game plan. He doesn't really have something mapped out. In this video, he was trying to open Dustin Poirier's mouth. That's a trick, a tactics they use so that, you know, your opponent will actually get tired and you can choke them out or something. He's doing the few chicken or what do they call it? He's doing a lot of dirty things in the octagon against Dustin Poirier in this video. Now, he repeated the same thing against Charles Oliveira in their recent fight. Watch this. Did you see all this? These are back of the head shot and these are illegals. I don't know what the referee was watching. Like, Charles Oliveira could get out in this position. He could lose part of his brain or something. I don't know why the referee was just looking at him, you know, uh, knocking the back of the head of Charles Oliveira. Those are illegal shots, you know? So, I don't know. This guy is very dirty. I crown him the dirtiest fighter in the UFC. You know, I don't think he has any, any competition at all. And the thing is, you came into the UFC, they gave you Dan Danuka, number nine round Danuka, you knocked him out, and you thought you are the next Khabib or you would be the one to take Khabib out. Then they rushed you to the title shot against the same Charles Oliveira. Charles Oliveira knocked you out in round two maybe round one you won the, that round but he knocked you out in round two and since then you have been on losing streak you lost to uh, justin gage dustin Poirier. you know you only knocked out to tony ferguson that's that that's an old fighter that is on his way out i don't know why he keeps thinking the game revolves around him like you know i can step into the octagon you waited for conor mcgregor for two years two solid years you wasted part of your life you are 38 now uh, when you are waiting, you are 36. 36 already, you are old already in the in the sport. Now, you waited two years for Conor McGregor that is not coming back very soon. Conor is not coming back to the octagon. I don't think he's coming back again. That guy has a lot of things on his neck now. He has a lot of lawsuits, uh, you know, he's battling with. And uh, I don't think he has two months to dedicate to fighting now, you know, two months to dedicate to a training camp or something because he doesn't really need the money. You need Conor McGregor, he doesn't need you. So you waited, now you came back to fight Charles Oliveira. I mean, I was even surprised, you know, Charles Oliveira allowed the fight to happen because he, I don't think this guy deserved He was supposed to go and fight someone in the lower rank, maybe Vizev or something. Now they allowed you first four rounds it dominated you now you came back you think oh the round five you could actually trick your way to the to the shot to the title shot and call out islam akachev you know i that, that was his plan he said that was his plan that he wanted to call out islam akachev or something you know the thing is you are not a smart fighter you are just a rough fighter you think everybody gonna want to get entertained nobody will remember you that oh this guy used to lose a lot of blood like you know he was always a bloody fighter you know having a lot of blood over his body nobody will remember that in the next two or three years we need solid win so taking all the risk and thinking you can just you are running uh throughout uh the fight you know charles Oliveira is trying to stand up with you you are running round 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 the octagon now you you got an opportunity you wanted to destroy his life you wanted to spoil his brain with back of the head shot no that's a rough fight he denied this that oh these are not back of the head shots these are just normal kicks but we are seeing it in front of our eyes here that these are back of the head shot i could actually kill someone charles Oliveira could actually be dead with this shot so please let's watch what he said on ariel or show 
Um, yeah. The way fate would have it, that obviously did not happen. And hats off to Charles. He showed a lot of gall. He showed a lot of stick to this. Um, he showed the heart of a champion. And I look forward to watching him uh, fight Islam or Armin, whoever, whoever wins that fight to fight for the title. Um, and it will be bittersweet. It will be painful to watch because I believe I should be in that position. But no, 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 no. You don't deserve to be in that position, bro. You think this guy, I don't know. You wanted to come through the backyard to the title shots. I don't, I don't think, I, I believe he doesn't deserve it. I don't care where you're coming from. You don't deserve it. Charles Oliveira fought killers. He fought Bernard Darush. Bernard Darush was on the winning streak before Charles fought him. He defeated him. He fought Aman Sarukian. You, you have never fought anybody that is high level. You know, so you just wanted to come through the backyard and take the title shot, you know, fight Islam. No, 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 no. I don't think it works like that. You know, you are using Dana White's privilege. You want to come back to take the shot, title shot. You want to use Dana White privilege that, okay, you think you deserve it. No, you don't deserve this. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. But I didn't, I didn't get the job done. Have you, have you rewatched it fully? I have, and I was a lot. I was a lot happier before I watched the fight than I was after the fight. Um, not necessarily the fight itself, but just the commentary. The you know watching it on TV compared to being in the arena. You know, if if you if you were there that night, a lot of people, you know, they were wowed by it. They loved it. It was a, it was an awesome fight. Um, but watching it on TV wasn't as uh, appealing to me. So. Yeah, it would not be appealing to you because you knew you cheated. You are a cheater and you are the dirtiest fighter in the UFC. You know, because th I don't see why people find you entertaining. I'm only concerned about fighters that are winning. You know, even if you lose, you know, we know that you you lost the fight in, in a very honorable way. You know, not just trying to cheat your way out of, you know, it's not, you are not a honorable fighter, please. I'm sorry um the thing now is he thinks um he deserves to call out max holloway after the fight he called out max holloway he called out conor mcgregor he thought conor mcgregor will still come back conor is not coming back stop being delusional now i think he should fight um someone lower in the rank he should fight Vizev or benedia roche in the ranking that's what i think because you cannot fight up again uh, Dustin Poirier has already beat you. Dustin Gage beat you. So, um, who else? I don't know. Who else do you want to fight? So, he has to fight down now. Max Holloway. called out Max Holloway for the BMF fight. See, you are not a BMF candidate, bro. You are not... Be, it, it is not me hitting on Michael Chandler. You know, I thought it was actually the next big thing when he knocked out that Luca But You know, on the long run, I saw that this guy is a heavy cheater. He tried to cheat his way out. You know, I don't know. So, if you if you think you are skillful, why do you have to cheat? You don't need to try to cheat your way out. You cheated on Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier was pissed off after their fight in 2022, you know. He shouted on, on him that, oh, this is my house. This is my... You know, go and watch that fight, you see. So, what do you think? Do you think this guy is the uh, dirtiest fighter in the UFC? Or do you think there is another person that is dirtier than him? Share your comments. Like this video. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon.